Hello there. In this video, we will prepare a linear regression forecast and include some additional interpretation of the regression model. This question corresponds to problem 4.41 in your text. The nature of our data is this. The bus and subway ridership for the summer months in London, England is believed to be tied heavily to the number of tourists visiting the city, and they have obtained 12 years of historical data showing the number of tourists in millions for each year, and the ridership also in millions. And we have a series of requirements. The first will be to plot the data and decide if the linear model is reasonable. The second will be to develop a regression model. The third will be to develop a point estimate of ridership if 10 million tourists are expected to visit London in a year. We'll also explain the predicted relationship if there are no tourists at all. We're also asked to determine the standard error of the estimate along with the model's correlation coefficient and coefficient of determination. So we're going to make this easy on ourselves and use XLOM because it will enable us to do the plot and calculate the standard error of the estimate. You should make sure that you can develop a regression model using your calculator as demonstrated in the previous video. The first thing with this problem is to make sure that you determine the correct X and Y variables. Because this is a causal regression model, we're not going to use the year or periods as our x variables. That's only used in trend progression. And what we have to do then is of the remaining two variables, number of tourists and ridership, is determine which is the dependent variable and which is the independent variable. Per the data, the city believes that ridership at least partially depends on the number of tourists. Therefore, the number of tourists will be the x variable or the independent variable, and ridership will be the dependent variable, or y. So now let's proceed with using XLOM. We'll go to chapter. We want a regression trend analysis. We are provided with 12 years of historical data. And make sure you click the graph button because what this will do then is show us a nice plot. Hit OK. So we've got our 12 years. The demand will be ridership, and the x variable will be tourists. And we'll insert our data and right away we have everything that we need. Since our first requirement was to plot the regression model, well, here's what we have. We have an upward sloping model that suggests as the number of tourists increases on the x-axis that the ridership also increases. We can conclude that this is a plausible positive relationship. The next requirement is to develop the regression equation. Well, using the formula y equals a plus bx, where the intercept is a and the slope is b. We can say here then that y equals 0 0.506 plus 0.1593 x. Then we're asked what the expected ridership is if 10 million tourists visit London in a year. Well, all we have to do is determine a forecast or point estimate by putting 10 million tourists and we should see a forecast of 2.09 million. Next, we're asked to explain the predicted relationship if there are no tourists at all. Well, if that's the case, then we would just put zero. That results in a forecast result of 0.5 million, or 500,000 people roughly, which likely represents the normal ridership of regular citizens, not tourists. Next, we're asked what the standard error of the estimate is. Well, as you can see in our table here, we have the standard error of the estimate to be 0.407 or roughly 407,000 riders, and we can interpret the standard error as follows. It's similar to standard deviation, and so if plus or minus one standard deviation represents a probability of about 68.27%, then we could say that there is a 68.27% probability that ridership will vary by plus or minus 407,000 riders from the point estimate of almost 2.1 million riders. Finally, we're asked what the model's correlation coefficient is and the coefficient of determination. Well, those are both right here. The correlation coefficient is 0.91. Remember, it ranges between negative one and plus one. So this indicates very strong positive correlation between ridership and tourists. The correlation coefficient, of course, is also known as R. The coefficient of determination, known as R squared, is 0.8403 which suggests that approximately 84.03% of the change in ridership can be explained by the number of tourists. And there we have it. Simple linear regression to predict ridership based on tourists. I hope you found this video useful.